I know what you're thinking. Darren's made a rookie mistake and is recording his videos in portrait rather than landscape. But this is a collection of my guitar learning and playing tips which are recorded in portrait so they can be displayed as shorts. What I will do is every now and again I'll collect up some of them um, and put them together into uh, a bite sized video. Hi, ah, here's another diamond guitar tip from Darren White. Guitars are hard. Are you thinking about learning or have you started learning on playing guitars? Here's something no one told you. You are gonna suck and you're gonna be frustrated and you need to learn to love that suck because everyone sucks at first. All your guitar heroes did. They were all exactly where you are now. Here's a massive insight. There's no such thing as talent. There's only learning and practice. The more you do with both of those, the more talented you get. It's a statistic, 95% of new guitarists quit in their first year, which shows you something about this sort of time scale. Most of those quit in their first month, which shows you that the ones that went on to be actual guitarists gave it more than a year. That's what you have to do too. It needs commitment. Aye, another diamond guitar tip here from Darren White at Guitars Are Hard. Are you starting to learn guitar thinking of learning guitar? What most people do is get one of these, an acoustic. Is it the right thing to do? Acoustics are great because everything you need is here. I need to tune that. But they have one downside, which is thicker strings. What you might find is that it's easier to play an electric, which has thinner strings. And also because the songs sound more like what you're trying to copy. Obviously this will cost more because you also need to get a lead and a practice amp. But this might be the way to go because it's ultimately easier for you to start playing with. But the choice is yours. Go to a guitar shop, try out both, get advice. Thank you. Hi, Darren here from Guitars Are Hard with another diamond guitar tip. Are you about to start on your guitar learning journey? Your first guitar, go to a guitar shop, pick up and try a few different guitars out. This is my acoustic. I went and tried out a lot of bigger guitars than this, um, Dreadnoughts. And what I found was that I just couldn't get my arm over. It was too big. I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't gone to that guitar shop. My go-to guitar for learning new things, for learning new songs, is this S-style guitar. The reason I like it, and I wouldn't have known this if I just ordered it online, is that it's got a really low action, which is the di distance from the strings to the fretboard. It's got a lovely thin satin neck, and the fretboard isn't thick. So all in all, this makes it a very easy guitar to play. Go to a guitar shop, take their advice, Pick the guitar that's right for you. Hi, welcome to another diamond tip from me, Darren White of Guitars Are Hard. Is don't spend too little on a guitar. Ultra cheap guitars can be difficult and hard to play. They can have scratchy, uneven frets that cause buzzing. They can have terrible action. They can have intonation you can never sort out. This S style guitar is from a company called East Coast and is very affordable, a hundred pounds. Look at reviews, look at YouTube. You'll learn some great stuff there. Another affordable guitar maker is Harley Benton uh, of Toman. They make some great guitars. One thing I hear a lot from people is they've got the wrong size hands for playing guitars. I have teeny tiny hands. I've also heard people say that their hands are too big. Look for other ways of holding those strings down. Sometimes you can't get all three fingers in. Sometimes one can do it. Sometimes you can do it with two. This is one time when size does not matter. Hello, another diamond tip from Darren White at Guitars Are Hard. Your pick, are you holding it right? I've seen a lot of people holding it like I am now with their thumb and their finger sort of parallel and a lot of picks sticking out. That's totally wrong. What you have to do is put your fingers almost at a right angle to each other. So there's the bottom of it and then bring the thumb over the top. Have it at a sort of right angle to where your thumb is. Also, 
and you need a little bit of that pick sticking out. That way you'll get a better grip on it. Um, it's all you need. You, you won't lose it, won't fly away. So that finger down, that finger across. That's how a guitar pick should be held. Hi, and welcome to another diamond guitar tip by me, Darren from Guitars Are Hard. Do you know the right way to, to pick strings, to pluck them? Um, might be a silly question, but this is something I wish somebody had shown me. Um, what a lot of people tend to do is kind of pick away which is not a very economic motion. What you should be doing is picking down so your pick rests on the string below. That's a very economic action. Don't pick away. Go down, rest on the next string, and then you're perfectly placed to come back for the next note. It takes a bit of practice to do, it takes a bit of getting used to, so you have to sort of train yourself to do it, especially if you've been playing for some time and you've been doing something a bit more extravagant. I'm exaggerating there. I wish somebody told me that at the beginning. Hi, welcome to another diamond tip from me, Darren White of Guitars Are Hard. This is the one I wish somebody had told me. When fretting a note, that is pressing down with your finger on the string behind the fret to form the note, one thing a lot of people do is press too hard, especially beginners. What you need to do is, starting from no pressure, just push down on that until you hear the notes without any buzzing or clipping or ringing. And that's as hard as you need to press. If I press too hard, and you can probably hear this, You hear me? I'm bending the string, potentially putting it out of tune. Pressing too hard is the enemy of getting around the fretboard quickly. That's all you need to do, as little as possible. Welcome to another tip from me, Darren, at Guitars Are Hard. There's another diamond tip just for you. When you're strumming, um, especially if you're strumming uh, a acoustic and making some big swipes. A lot of times you'll see people doing these really elaborate things from the wrist. That's going to hurt your wrist. You've got little muscles there. Where you should be strumming from is the elbow and it's a little hard to show you with the guitar at this angle. But there's a big muscle up there on the elbow. So if you keep your wrist straight and do it from the elbow, a lot less um, action. There's a lot less of your wrist to hurt from doing that. Thank you for watching. Here's another diamond tip from Guitars Are Hard. When you're first learning something, be it a chord or a chord progression or a new song or a new technique, start very slowly. Only speed up, only move on when you've got the technique right. Remember, you've got it right when you can no longer get it wrong, not the first time you get it right. So keep the technique perfect as you speed up. So you go from to to That's the way you learn a song, especially when you come to changes. Mm -hmm.